traveling 360 burpee provided my transportation to the video shoot today. Okay, get these shoes out of here. Am I in? Can you see me? Am I in the shot? My friend Sean Vig Fitness. Sean v, uh, no, Sean Vig. Sean Vig Fitness dot com. Been getting a lot of requests. How to do the splits? Um, my disclaimer is I, I've actually been working on that lately. I've not gotten all the way down, but let me show you the technique I use to do the front splits. One leg in front, one leg in the back. Not the Van Dam split. I'll work on that later. But let me show you how I get into this. Remember, be careful. You don't want to slip and end up as a blooper video on YouTube unless you want to get a lot of views when you just drop down. So let's go. All right, I took my shoes off in a fit of glee. I just threw them off. Makes it easier, but the shoes on, they kind of get in the way. They twist the ankles. All right, start with the runner's lunge. Get out of there. Take your right knee underneath your hip. Slide the left leg forward and stretch. Now, this might be a lot. I already feel this right here in my shins, in my hamstrings. And then to work from here, you just want to slide that right knee back. It's a process. Every exhale, you're going to sink a little lower, but take your time. It, revol it involves a lot of hamstring flexibility as well as hip flexor flexibility. Hip flexors can creep up on you. You have no idea how much tension's in there until bazinga. So here we are, working into that split. With the exhale, sink down a little more. I kind of like to move it back and forth, find those sweet spots. Yesterday at the gym, I was kind of going back and forth like this, and I kept sinking down a little bit more. I think I was the only guy at the gym doing the splits, or almost the splits. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's good to address these issues of flexibility. Again, work on it. Bring it down. Bring your forearms down and slide forward a little bit to target that right hip flexor, dragging it forward. Oh, my God. Here we are. So here's the front split on one side. And allow me, ooh, <laughs> may you do this somewhere where it's not as messy, just trying to avoid the anthill. And again, we go to the other side and work your way into it. Kind of move back and forth, find that sweet spot. <sighs> again, hamstrings, glutes coming in, hip flexor right here, these areas being addressed. <sighs> and again, bring it forward on the forearms, hi there, and open up the hip. <sighs> But you got to use the breath. If you hold your breath, it's gonna, it's like driving your car without gas, which essentially is you won't go anywhere. Same thing with the stretch. Good analogy is when you throw a football or a baseball, do you exhale or inhale or do you hold your breath? You exhale with the movement. <sighs> oh, that's so deep. Good. So we got the front split right here. I'm going to work on it some more. Again, I'm not 100% uh, on this. I'm about 70% of the way there. But I'm getting down and I'm feeling it. It's amazing. I'm covered with grass. Smoking grass, poor catting. Comment, what movie is that from? All right, Sean Vig, SeanVigFitness.com. Go there, sign up for my free e-newsletter. Goes out the beginning of every month. The hell is that? Oh, uh, by the way, Pilata.com. Type that in right now, it's my free iTunes podcast. New videos every week, a lot of videos you will not see on YouTube, so tell everybody. Pilata.com. A pleasure, my friends. Work on those splits. Remember, flexibility will make you feel and look great now and for the rest of your life. So you want to be flexible. When you don't, you tighten up and everything sucks. <sighs> Thank you for joining me today. Remember, keep practicing those splits. Head over to SeanVigFitness.com. Sign up for my free e-newsletter. Flexibility equals ute. <laughs>